But the family of a teen who was found dead in his school's gym say they found a witness who knows exactly what happened. You see, in January, Kendrick Johnson's body was found in a rolled-up gym mat at his high school in Valdosta, Georgia. Police said there were no signs of foul play and ruled his death an accident, but his parents are convinced that their son was murdered. They held a press conference today, and their attorney said there's a witness who knows how Kendrick got into that mat. Take a listen. It is the video recordings made from surveillance cameras there in the gymnasium where his body was found. We believe that these videotapes would clearly answer many of the questions that have surfaced over these many months. The Johnson's attorney says there are four surveillance cameras in the school's gym, and he and the family have repeatedly asked to see that tape, but they have been denied. Kendrick's parents weren't so quick to accept that his death was an accident. They're convinced that he was murdered. In June, they exhumed his body for an independent autopsy that determined that he died from blunt force trauma. And in the last 24 hours, we learned some of Kendrick's organs are missing. Newspaper was stuffed in their place. The funeral home that handled his body says the organs were destroyed because of the position of Kendrick's body when he died. Today is Kendrick's birthday. He would have been 18 years old. His parents, Jacqueline and Kenneth Johnson, join me now. And Jacqueline and Kenneth, this is the first birthday that of your son where he is not with you. Jacqueline, I want to ask you, how are you remembering your son today? I'm remembering him for the fun things we did of the previous years. Kenneth, how about you? I remember him for his laughters, the fun that we always had, that embrace that we always shared with one another. And it's just really a terrible feeling on this family for Kendrick not to be here for his 18th birthday. Kenneth, I've heard you say before that you talk to your son often. What have you said to him today? I told him happy birthday and we won't stop until we get justice for him. And you know, Kenneth, speaking of justice, and without naming names here, what motive would someone have to kill Kendrick? What do you think happened here? That's what we want to find out, exactly what happened to Kendrick. And that's the key, finding out what happened. I want to bring in your attorneys, Shaveen King, also Ben Crump, who just joined the team today. Uh, Shaveen, the new evidence you brought up today was the surveillance video. And police, even the school district, have been unwilling to turn that over to you. The school district saying that it's academic record. The U.S. attorney has it. I know you've been in contact with him. Has he talked to you at all about what is shown on those videos? Well, uh, he hasn't expressed in detail what these videos show. Uh, the indication was that he was still in the process of examining not only the videos but the files that he acquired from the sheriff's department. Uh, he did assure me that he would be making a decision on what to do in connection with reopening an investigation very soon. Uh, we do know that he's exploring several different avenues and, um, and I just got the general impression that Whenever he makes a decision, he just wants to be as certain as possible that it is going to be the right decision. What do you think is on those videos? Do you think it will show foul play? Well, you have to ask yourself. Um, the Johnsons uh, have been asking to view the tapes almost since day one. Um, the fact that these tapes if they contained information that, say, corroborated the sheriff's theory, why wouldn't you show them to the Johnsons nine months ago? And, and you um, know what, Shaveen, that's seems... an interesting point right there. I want to ask Kenneth about that because, Kenneth, your son went to this school. They have these tapes. They're saying academic record. I know for a fact that we've covered so many cases where something happens on school grounds and we see the video. How does it make you feel to know that the school is not passing that along to you because they're saying it's academic record? 
it make me feel bad and it also let me know that they are covering up and covering up for someone. So you believe that this is a cover-up, not uh, simply a case of people making mistakes and not releasing information? Yes, I do. You know, Ben Crump want to bring you in. Ben, you've been involved in high-profile cases, and the police right now are saying this case is closed. It's going to be their decision as to whether or not they want to open it up again or not. What do you hope to achieve at this point? It's very simple, Ryan. I was brought in to join Attorney King to bring a national perspective to this case of what happened to these parents. This is a real life murder mystery. These parents sent their children to school with a book bag and he was returned to them in a body bag. And it's tragic because it's real life. The truth is under our nose. It's going to come out. As Attorney King has said, the video speaks the truth. Release the video. Everybody in America tonight wants to know what's on that video. All right. Jacqueline, I just want to end with you. So many times in cases like this, we don't really get to know the victim. We don't get to know the young man that is your son. If you could tell folks out there one thing about your son, what would that be? That he didn't deserve to die. Hmm. Powerful indeed. You know, our condolences to you and your family over the loss of Kendrick and we will stay on this case please keep in contact with us with all the developments and we appreciate your time thank you thank, thank you. you all right thank you and Michael Moore the US attorney that's over Valdosta is reviewing this case to determine if he'll open a federal criminal investigation he is asking anyone with information about Kendrick Johnson's death to call him and here's the number you can reach him at 478-752 3511. In cases like this, it is so important if you know something to say something, and that's why he's asking for that information.